Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to add an incoming webhook URL for your workspace on Slack. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So having an integrated incoming webhook URL for your workspace is a useful thing to have. Here, you'll get to fully customize uh, what type of um, alerts you will get or notifications or developments within the company. And yeah, it's just a useful thing to have anyway. So to actually add one in your workspace, it's pretty simple. Let me guys show you how to do it. So make sure that Slack is open, obviously. And I should mention that um, the steps shown in this video should apply for both the web browser app as well as the, as well as the desktop app for Slack. So with that out of the way, let's get to it. So you want to make sure Slack is open and you want to click on apps as shown here. And you want to click on manage and go to browse apps. Next, you want to click on Browse App Directory, and here you'll get redirected to a new Slack page. From here on out, what you want to click on is Build up here at the top right corner of your screen. And you want to click on Get Started. Once you're in this page, uh, it can be a little confusing as there's so many options on screen and you don't know which to click on, right? Well, I'm here to show you just what to do. So what you want to do is you want to navigate to the left side panel of your screen and you want to click on developing Slack apps. Here you get to choose whether you want to build an app with JavaScript, Python, or I believe it was HTML5. So to see those options, you want to click on building with Bolt. And here you'll get an option to choose which kind of programming language you want to use for your, your incoming webhook URL for Slack. But let's actually go with JavaScript as this is one of the more common ones used for Slack plugins. So simply click on that. And here you'll get redirected to a new page where you, have, where you have an option to create a new Slack app. So we're actually going to click on this. And here you will choose creating one from scratch. So let's actually click on this. And here you get to choose what type of name you want to give your app. Mm, let's say, for example, I want alert. I want to receive alerts whenever a sale has been made. So let's actually name this one uh, sale. Oops, sorry. Sales updates. The next step is to select which workspace you want this incoming webhook URL to appear on. So in this case, let's actually pick our test bug workspace since this is just a demonstration and simply click on create app. Next, you want to select incoming webhook URL, this option right here. And you want to turn it on. After that, you'll get to choose which channel you want to add this function to. So to do all of that is pretty straightforward. You just want to click on add new webhook to workspace. And here you'll have the option to select which channel it will go to. So let's say um, I want to add a, a notification function to the sales report channel whenever a sale is made. So let's actually click uh, select that channel by clicking on this drop down and simply clicking on sales report. Next, you want to click on allow. And that's it. So as far as customizing this new webhook URL goes, you want to go to viasocket.com to actually customize your alerts. Here, you will also have the option to choose what kind of automation it will be on your workspace. So yeah, that's how you add a, an incoming webhook URL to your workspace on Slack. So thank you all for watching this video. If you guys want to show your support to the channel, you can do so by subscribing, uh, liking the video, and making sure that the, that the bell notification is turned on. So without further ado, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.